Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make some fried catfish and hush puppies from scratch. Alright, first thing I got in me here is a pound and a half of catfish, just nuggets. I'm going to soak them in milk for about six hours in the refrigerator. Cover them up, soak them. And in the meantime, when it gets time to cook them, I'm going to get me out a pan. I'm going to put me a couple, three cups of uh, cornmeal in there, yellow cornmeal. And then I'm going to salt and pepper it to taste. I'm adding cayenne and pepper. Now, folks, you can put anything in there you want to. You can make it taste exactly like you want to. You can put uh, garlic powder, whatever. And then take your fish fillets right out of your milk and just cover them. Now, this is after they've sat in the refrigerator for six hours, y'all. You can do them as long as you need to. I'm going to show you one more here. All right. Now, one of the main secrets to cooking catfish is having really hot oil, 375 degrees, and that way it won't steam. Them babies will fry. Now, I'm going to show you a few here. Put four or five in here and show you how to kind of keep them from sticking together. You don't want that to happen. So as you can see, this is time lapse, by the way, because you can see I keep moving them around until they get a beautiful brown texture on them, just like that. And then I pull them out. Now this makes a very, very crunchy catfish, you guys. So be prepared for some crunch, all right? Now, once you get all your catfish out, we're going to move to our second batch, just to show you that I just go right on ahead and just keep on cooking them right there, you know what I mean? So here's our second batch, and I'll do them exactly the same. And now while them babies are uh, frying, I want you to put a cup of flour, a cup of cornmeal, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, some minced onion, and one egg, and two or three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay. Now I'm adding some cayenne here, and you can add anything you want to, stuff like maybe some jalapeno, maybe more onions, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, but anyway, this is your hush puppies, okay? Now, I want you to add your milk, and I want you to not pour the whole cup in there. Just pour a little bit in there, and then move it around until it comes to the right consistency. And then when you get it to what the right consistency is, I want you to add an egg. Now as you'll see here, when this egg gets mixed in here, that is your hush puppies. You're gonna be using a little scooper and scoop them out and drop them into 375 degree oil. So just remember, however you make these tastes is however they're gonna be. You know what I mean? So what I do is I make it and I cover it up and I set it aside until it's time. All right, now we're back to our fish. And this is our second load of fish here. And we're going to bring these babies out just like the first load and plate them up. And I'm putting them on a, a plate with a paper towel on it to kind of drain the excess oil. And this is hot, hot peanut oil, okay? Now, we're going to come in with our hush puppies. I use a little bitty ice cream scooper. As you can see there, I drop one in at the top. Now I'm going to start dropping them in there for you, just like so. Just take your little ice cream scooper or a spoon, whatever you have, and drop them in in little spaces, little pieces, but don't put too many in there at one time. I, I can't remember how many I did at the time here, but it's about eight or nine of them, I guess. But, uh, and these will cook, and you see they float real nice. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to get your spoon or whatever it is you're using there, and turn these babies over until they get nice and beautifully brown. I'm trying to show you enough of it here so you can see what I'm talking about. But also trying to keep it where this is not too long. Because you know I usually like to do two or three mini ones. <laughs> well I'm putting two together for you today y'all. But anyway there's the way your hush puppies will look. And the seasoning that you put in them was whatever you, know, whatever you put in them. But there you go, y'all. There's the fish. There's the hush puppies. Loading them up there for you. And hey, let me tell you. This was some kind of good, y'all. Real good. 
Well, there you go. I'm going to load a couple of them up there. There's some hush puppies. Don't them babies look good? Oh, yeah, they do. And then that catfish. And then I got another recipe for some uh, tartar sauce I'm going to put up. And you'll see it. I couldn't put all three recipes together on one uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have been here all day. Anyway, the there it is. Homemade tartar sauce. It's some kind of good, y'all. Need to check out that recipe. I'll, I'll put a link to it down below here on the bottom left of tartar sauce. Well, hey, y'all. Check this out. That's right damn good. And that was my response after tasting it. I thought y'all might want to hear that. I had the crunch in there too, but I, I just couldn't figure out how to show it to you. <laughs> well, hey folks, this was a mighty, mighty successful cook here. If you like catfish and you like hush puppies, give these a try if you would. And I hope you folks have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.